y'all, when I tell you I'm I'm genuinely confused. How did I miss this? How come nobody told me? How, how could I have missed this? I was on TikTok like yesterday, I think. And somebody said, do you know Elon Musk's uh, Twitter profile picture? Have you have you ever seen the full profile picture of Elon Musk from Twitter? And he pulled up this photo. And yo, how come I've never seen this before? That's his profile picture, right? But what he's actually wearing is this costume right here. And for those of you who can't see the full costume, that's what he has on his chest right there. A Baphomite goat with an upside down cross, red eyes, flaming all over the place. Like, y'all, how, how come y'all never told me about this? How come I never knew about this? And you know it's even crazier? Suddenly, we have this video. And I don't know how legit this is. I don't know if this woman is, is telling the truth or not. And that's kind of the internet. That's how the internet goes. You don't know... You don't know what's legit and what's not legit, but allegedly, this woman was a nanny to Elon Musk when he was young. And this video, it was posted two years ago, and she posted this video herself. This was posted two years ago, but now this is just starting to get traction, and now it's starting to, you know, pick up. But she pretty much said that Elon Musk, she believes, is the Antichrist. And she gives this whole story about his childhood as to why she believes that. Now, I want to watch this video with y'all. It's only about, you know, two and a half minutes and I'm going to speed it up. So it's going to go through quick. But let's just watch this because after seeing what I just seen and like I said, y'all, I, I can't begin to tell you like how I how I don't know how I missed this. And when you look at his profile picture on Twitter, I've always seen this outfit and I never knew exactly what he was wearing. But then when you pull up the full picture, that's pretty wild. But let's watch, you know, his nanny allegedly talk about him potentially being the Antichrist. Now, I've already made videos talking about how, you know, I could potentially see that as a possibility. Um... But after seeing dude with the goat and the upside down cross on his chest, and it's literally his profile Twitter, you know, picture. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Let's get into this video. Hi. God bless you. I'm Shalom Girl on YouTube. Oh, snap. Hold on. I wasn't even playing it. Y'all didn't miss much. Um, I love Jesus. Jesus Christ. He saved me. I want to tell you something. I'm an old lady, kind of. I'm 55. I was born in San Francisco in 1965. When I was a girl, I was in San Francisco. I was procured and sent to work for a family. There were three generations. There was a boy, the boy's mother, and the boy's grandfather. They were coming from Africa. They were white as me. I thought they'd be black. Hold on. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Hold on. Oh, snap. That's as far as we can go. All right. I think y'all could hear it, right? She said they was white as me. I thought they'd be black. All right. <laughs> Continue. They're coming from Africa. And um, because of something the boy did, I never told what he did. Boy did something very dark when he was very little, and I was just coming to know Jesus, and Jesus saved me. And um, anyway, the boy did something very dark, and I never told him what he did. And then one day I asked someone in the circle, Imelda, Joaquin's mother. I asked Inelda, I said, is he the Antichrist? I was 13 years old. She didn't even blink. She said, no, but he will present the mark. And when you see him do that, the Antichrist will take the stage. So. 
I don't know why that just gave me the chills. But she's talking about, she said she was 13 years old when she asked this question. Like, I don't know many 13 year olds that, that understand that, that concept, that information. I don't know why that just gave me the chills. All right, let's continue. Now here we are, 40 years later. Boom, that boy is the star of the world. He's the king of the world, but Jesus Christ is the king of my heart. Okay. The boy's name then was El Elyon. It's changed over time. But we're 40 years later. And I see that boy everywhere, and the world adores him, but he's the king of Babylon. And I'm going to call you out, choose you this day whom you will serve. Be it God, serve him. Be it the king of Babylon, serve him. <sighs> okay. Hold on. Don't play nothing. Don't play nothing. All right. Wow. So, I have another one. Hold on. I want to watch this too. This is the same woman from the video. And once again, this woman is, is saying that she used to be Elon Musk's nanny. So I want to watch this video as well, because I, I guess she's telling a different story um, of something that happened specifically. Um, I don't know. She can explain it better than I can. Um, he, had, he got into his mother's trunk. I, I, I always called it her African trunk because she's from, she told me she's from Africa. And there was these little rock statues in there, you know, like little, you know, action figures. And he would set them up in a certain way, like a little stone hinge on his bed. And his room was dark. It's always dark in there. And um, his, even though his room faced the street, it was like blackout curtain on that side. Mm -hmm. um, like, so he couldn't see out. And I was the house almost across the street. And um, he set him up in a certain way. And you know when a little kid's sneaking and you still see that they're sneaking and they're trying to be sneaky and you think it's cute. You know what I mean? They're trying yeah. to hide something, but you know they can be a cookie. He's kind of being like that happy, but it was wicked. And he said, call me Moon. He said, Moon, come play with my friends. And he's all excited. And I knew something weird was going on in there. And there was wind and energy. And... um. I like peeked in the door. <laughs> I'm scared, man. I peeked in the door and something was wrong in there. And it was like, there was something happening. I, I don't know the language to describe it, but like. And how old do you think, how old would he be at this point in time? By the record, he would be seven or eight. But he was seven tiny, or eight. Tiny, two year old, like a baby that just learned how to walk. Like, so later I would wonder and doubt myself is he one of his grandfather's lab experiments you know wait go, is, he, is he human wait, I asked what did, my she aunt, say? did she say he just appeared a seven-year-old like hold on she said something about a baby being able to walk but a seven-year-old is way past the point of being you know learning how to walk happening I, I don't know the language to describe it but like and how old do you think how old would he be at this point in time by the record, he would be seven or eight. But he was seven tiny, or eight. Tiny, two year old, like a baby that just learned how to walk. Like, so later I would. I think she said he was seven or eight, but he was tiny at that point, like a baby who just learned how to walk. I think, because it cut off. Wonder and doubt myself is he one of his grandfather's lab experiments? You know, because I go, is he, is he human? I asked my aunt. She's like, I don't know. <laughs> Those Illuminati. Um, okay, he opened up something, a portal, a Stargate, whatever. But he was excited, and he was jumping up and down. And so he then, was able to open up a Stargate in his room. Whatever you want to call it. It was a different Yeah, dimension. a portal. Well, well, portal would be the actual name. And I've been so embarrassed to say it out loud that everybody would laugh at me or lock me up. Um, oh you know, goodness. I only told my aunt. So tell me what happened. You, nothing, something's not right. Something's scary in that room. Describe what you see and what happens. I went to the edge of the doorway and I peeked in there and I was afraid just to peek. 
and there was something happening in there, like a sci-fi movie. And there was something, he set him up like a little Stonehenge on his bed. He didn't have any normal. Yeah, I don't know what the heck is happening here. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know that those two videos, I don't know why they, they kind of gave me like a horror, like a horror movie vibe. Like I'm very interested to know more about her story and I'm interested to know exactly what went down because she seems very adamant that there is something demonic going on with Elon Musk. And when you see pictures like this, it's hard to argue with her. It's very hard to argue with her. I'm curious to know, and I don't think he would ever respond to this. Not my video, but I don't think he would ever respond to the nanny. But maybe, you never know. Because I have seen him talk about Christianity before. And it's very interesting because he, he did an interview. He was talking about Christianity. And surprisingly, he seemed very open to it. He seemed, you know, very respectful of it. And I, maybe that's just because, you know, that's the business side of him being able to play both sides of the field. Um, and, you know, a lot of the people who support him on the conservative side happen to be Christian as well. So it would make sense that he would be respectful of Christianity, but <laughs> like when you see stuff like this, him wearing this outfit, that completely contradicts any type of respect that he might have shown to Christianity in the past, in my opinion. This is crazy. I want to know more about the nanny story. Let me read this real quick. It says, just days... uh this is an article from the Christian Post talking about this outfit that he wore. It says, just days after becoming CEO of Twitter, Musk attended a Halloween party in New York City wearing a blood red leather gladiator outfit that featured the satanic goat's head symbol known in occult circles as Baphomet. Is it Baphomet or Baphomet? Y'all always be clowning me, but shoot, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And inverted crosses on his uh, breastplate and forearms. Musk 51 reportedly wore the Devil's Champion set. So this costume is called the Devil's Champion set from a New York City costume store. And it cost $7,500. And this is images that he shared. So this is him wearing it uh, with his mother, May. If this don't look like, and I understand these are Halloween costumes, but they wearing these, they look a little too natural in these Halloween costumes. They look a little too natural. This ain't their first time hopping in these outfits. That's all I'm going to say. They look a little too comfortable. And here he is hopping out the hopping out the car. I don't what is going on here? It says as, as of late December, Musk's profile image on Twitter is of him posting in the Baphomet outfit, the goat's horn clearly visible visible in the bottom of the image. Oddly enough, Musk Musk's ex-wife Claire Bowsher better known as pop artist Grimes, has also shown an affinity for satanic references. She posed with a book titled Satan is Real in a 2019 cover suit for Cultured, and in April, Boucher was depicted in Vanity Fair interview with black alien eyes and her two fingers held up in a pose directly referencing a traditional depiction of the Baphomet figure. So your ex-wife is a Satan worshiper, I don't think it would be out of the realm of possibility that you yourself are also a, a Satan worshiper. And I'm just, I'm trying to figure out how I never knew this. Because I've made videos about Elon Musk before. I never knew any of this information. And it's crazy because it's literally has been right in front of me this whole entire time. <laughs> they be hiding in plain sight. They be hiding in plain sight. It's interesting what the nanny said. The nanny said, you know, she asked the question in this video. She said, is he the, uh, is he the Antichrist? And, um, you know, I don't know, remember what she was saying of who responded. 
But she was saying, no, but he's going to be the one that delivers the mark and he's going to set the stage for the Antichrist. Yo, once again, I, this is me literally just finding out about all of this stuff for the first time. Um, I'm definitely going to look more into it. Um, you're definitely going to see more videos about this. I was just needed to share this with y'all because I had no idea that I didn't even know he was moving like this. And it's crazy because it's literally on his Twitter profile picture and it's right in front of the, the whole world to see. <laughs> Man, this is wild. Get in my comments. Let me know what you think. Do you believe the nanny? Do you think Elon is the Antichrist? Do you think... What do you think? Like, I, I'm still trying to wrap my head around this whole thing because it's just so in your face, so blatant. It's like, yo, what is happening? What is happening? So get in my comments. Let me know what you think. I'm out.